Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your corrupted data on your PlayStation 4. Now, this is very easy to do. So, let's say we have some corrupted data with Quake 2. So, what we want to do is go up to Settings and select this and scroll on down to where it says Application Save Data Management. Then, you want to go to Save Data in System Storage right here. Select this. Then, go to Delete. Then you want to find the specific game that you're having an issue with and then delete the corrupted data. And it may say please wait for about 10 to 15 seconds. So let's go to Quake 2 right here. Then go to the corrupted data, select it, and then go to delete. Now if you do have PlayStation Plus, this is going to be very helpful because we can easily download it from the cloud storage now. So I backed out to this menu. Let's go to save data in online storage. Then go to download to system storage right here. And once again, it's going to say, please wait for about 10 to 15 seconds. So here's Quake 2 right at the top. Let's select it. Here's the data. Let's select it and go to download now. And download back to our PlayStation 4. So now we delete the same data and then downloaded our previous copy that was uploaded to the cloud storage. Now, if you do not have PlayStation Plus, another way that you can fix this is to hold down the power button. Then go to power and go to turn off right here. And completely 100%. Do not enter rest mode, go to turn off. Now with our PlayStation 4 turning off, let's locate a USB cable and plug in our controller. And when the light stops blinking, we are gonna wanna hold down the power button. We will hear one beep initially, and then about 10 to 15 seconds later, we will hear another beep. So I can see the light power on. I heard the second beep, I'm gonna let go. My controller is now charging, let's press the PlayStation button. It's turned blue, we can operate the safe mode menu with the D-pad and select with X now. Now we want to go down to option number five, rebuild database. It says it may take a few hours to rebuild the database, but my experience only takes about five minutes to do. Now your PlayStation 4 is going to restart and then bring you to a screen where it gives you an estimated amount of time, how long it's going to take to complete the process. And then it'll restart and you should be able to use your PlayStation 4 like new. But hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six tech.